Sage CRM includes an outbound call handling function that automates your telemarketing campaigns. In this tutorial, we'll show you an example of how it can be used, then we'll show you how to set one up. This tutorial builds on three previous Sage CRM tutorials, key attributes, marketing campaigns, and groups. So you may want to take a look at these videos as well. So now let's jump in and look at an example outbound calling campaign. We'll assume the role of Susan May, a member of our sample company's direct sales team. Our company hosts a lunch and learn event each quarter, and we need to call and invite our customers. We'll use outbound calling to facilitate the event registration. You'll find outbound calling in my CRM under the outbound call list tab. If you don't see the tab, you'll need to enable it by going to preferences, hit change, and set show outbound calls in my CRM to yes. After saving, the outbound call list tab appears. Let's open the tab, and here you'll see all of the outbound call lists that you've been assigned to. We've only got one here, the lunch and learn event, which we'll go ahead and select. The summary screen shows the call statistics for Susan May. It also shows the overall statistics for all users assigned to this call list. Note that the overall statistics panel is only visible to users with info admin security rights. And moving to the lower panel, we're presented with basic information for the activity, but most importantly, it shows the daily call target for users assigned to this campaign. Now let's make our first call by clicking Get a Call, and the system automatically feeds us a contact from the call list. This is the introduction page, and at the top we have the call data panel, including the person's phone number. The introduction panel contains a script intended to be used with a receptionist, this script is created by the person who sets up the campaign. You can also add a comment here, which can be included in your call reports. If anyone else from the same company is on the call list, they'll be exclusively offered to you. So when a company has multiple contacts on your call list, whoever makes the first contact with a person from that company will be given all of the people on the list from that company. You can easily switch between the other company contacts on the call list by clicking their links. You're also shown a list of other people at this company who are not on the call list, and you can include them if you'd like, also by clicking their link. You can also remove a contact from the list by hitting the Exclude button, and you're given the option to select the reason. Note that these selections can be customized by your system administrator. Let's hit Cancel and return to the introduction screen. Now let's suppose that the receptionist informs you that your contact is out and will return the following Tuesday. You would then hit the Call Back After button and set the date and time when the contact will be available. This takes them off the list until that time. Let's again return to the introduction screen. When you successfully reach the intended contact, then you would hit the Got Through button. Here we have another call script, this one intended to be used with the actual contact. And in this case, we're extending our invitation to the Lunch and Learn event. Our contact indicates that they will attend, so let's select the correct quarter, which is 2011 quarter 1, and will attend, yes, and their lunch preference is a sandwich. Note that this question panel is set up by your marketing department or system administrator using Sage CRM's key attributes. And one last detail to note is that during a call, you have access to the contact's company summary, person summary, and quick look screens. And you can also create a new contact, a new lead, a new opportunity, or a new communication as needed. Now that we've completed our call with this contact, we can either click Get Another Call or Finish Calling, and we'll opt to Finish Calling. During the campaign, Sage CRM's reporting capabilities allow you to monitor progress and results of the outbound calling effort. Here's an example report showing contacts that have been registered to attend the Lunch and Learn event, along with their meal preference. Now let's take a look at how to set up an outbound calling campaign, and we'll use the one we just viewed as our example. There are several steps involved. You need to create a target list of contacts or a group as it's known in Sage CRM. Then you create the question fields that you want to appear on the Got Through screen. This is done through key attributes. 
Next, you create a call handling category group that includes our lunch and learn key attribute category. And finally, you create a marketing campaign with an outbound calling wave activity. We recommend that you view the previous tutorial videos that cover in detail how to accomplish steps one, two, and the first part of step four. So let's pick up with step three and create a call handling category group that includes our lunch and learn key attribute category. To do this, we'll go to Administration, Advanced Customization, Key Attributes, and the Categories tab. In a previous tutorial, we created the Lunch and Learn category that we're highlighting, and you can see on the right that it includes the question fields that we saw a few moments ago on the Got Through screen. We need to make these fields available for use in our outbound calling campaign. To do this, we'll go to the Category Groups tab and we'll select Call Handling Category Groups. We need to create a group that includes our Lunch and Learn Key Attribute category. So let's click New, and we'll call it Outbound Event Reg, and for a description, let's enter Event Registrations. Now we'll add our existing Lunch and Learn category by selecting it on the left side, and then we'll click Add, and now it's part of this new group. We need to select the entity to which this will apply, and we'll select Person. At your option, any text that you enter into the question field here will appear at the top of the question panel on the Got Through screen. Let's enter, Can we confirm your attendance at our Lunch and Learn event? And that's all we need to do here, so let's click Save. Now we'll move to step four, where we'll set up the outbound calling wave activity. Again, We've covered setup of campaigns in a previous video, so we won't repeat the whole process here. We'll just add a new wave activity to an existing campaign. To do this, we'll go to the left side menu to Marketing, and we'll select the Customer Events campaign, then the Lunch and Learn wave, and at the bottom of the screen, we'll click New Wave Activity. We'll start by entering the wave activity name, and since our Lunch and Learn events recur quarterly, We'll just name them by their quarter, in this case, Quarter 1, 2011. And for details, Registration Calls to Customers. And we'll set an end date using the pop-up calendar. And we'll select a group that we created previously, US East Contacts. Again, to learn how to create groups, you should review the existing video on that topic. We'll leave the budget and cost fields alone. And now most importantly, we'll set the wave activity type to outbound calling. Notice that the screen refreshes and two new panels appear. You have the option to assign the calls to a team or to specific individuals. Let's assign the calls to the direct sales team so every member of the team will see this call list when they open their outbound call list tab in My CRM. The introduction field is where we enter the script that is posted on the introduction page and is intended for the receptionist. To keep this moving along, we'll paste in the text. Notice that we've used some merge fields here, which are in the format of the field name encased with the pound symbol. You should consult with your system administrator for help with merge fields. The contact introduction is where we place our script that appears on the Got Through page. And again, we'll go ahead and paste in our example text. Let's enter a daily call target of 15 for each of the assigned users. And you may recall that users are able to see this number on their call statistics. The category group is where we select the question data fields that appear on the Got Through screen. Under the previous step, we added our question fields to the Outbound Event Reg category group, which we'll select here. Now let's move down to the Default Communication Details panel. Each time a user clicks the Got Through button, a communication record is created under the contact. You can pre-format the details stored in the communication record by entering your text here. And again, we'll paste ours in here. And now we can go back to the top of the page and click Save. Now we need to create the call list by clicking the Workflow button on the right side of the screen. You're given a chance to verify your list selection and then click Save. At this point, the call list is now available to all of the users assigned to this outbound calling activity, and they can begin making their calls. So to recap, 
We've shown you an example of how the outbound calling feature works and how to set up your own outbound calling campaign. We've covered a lot of ground in this tutorial and encourage you to give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage CRM system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.